Hello and welcome to the Chuck's Anime Shrine podcast, where we talk about video games, anime, animation, and basically whatever else comes to our mind. With your hosts, Danielle Ambrosio, and me, Chuck Gaffney. Alright. You ready to do this? Yeah. Alright, let's, 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 <laughs> let's, let's do this. Let's rant our anger towards the internet. Yeah, we got another, th- we're, we're gonna vent again. All right, Hooray! So, venting! <laughs> venting! <laughs> Hooray! Yeah. All right. So, welcome to the Chuck's Anime Shrine podcast. Um, as, of course, it's me, Chuck, the owner of the site. Blah blah blah. Uh, and here is Danielle, my fiance. Yeah. Yeah. I, I own half the shit. You own half my shit. <laughs> well, not not legally yet, <laughs> but. Uh, 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 I own half the shit. <laughs> <laughs> but soon. And Hopefully you'll soon. Own half my shit. After you all this ha- time. You can have all my nail polish, honey. I can have all your all nail polish. All my nail polish will be yours. All of it. Will be half yours. Yeah. So all, half the bottle of the nail polish is yours. And all my video game systems though will be yours too. Um, half of them at least. No. No. <laughs> no? All of them are mine. All of them are yours. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh episode uh what is this? Four, I think, or five? I don't know. And eh, episode good, eh. good start. Yeah. You hear that? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, peeking the mic. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm putting my hands together and it's making a sound. <laughs> breaking the mic. So, um, and I'm breaking the mic. It's all right. So, which topic should we talk about first? Well, I was thinking today. Uh, well, this is why we wanted to start the well, podcast I, well, today I wanna get, I wanna, and get back to it. Actually, I want to talk a about weeks. multiple things. But which one do you want to talk about first? Gamer girls. Because, All right. because Yay, you, gamer girls. Yeah, because well, you're uh, you love the fact that I have a lot of games that I've saved up since I was a year old playing yeah, video games. It's awesome. So I've had uh, I have a collection of video games since uh, 1985. Uh, that's when my parents. I don't know how my my dad was actually a gamer back in the in the mid 80s and gave me uh, his Atari 2600. And see, yeah. your dad was nice to you about it. My dad bought the um, the Super Nintendo. I didn't let me touch it. He didn't let you touch the SNES he at all. He didn't yes. let me touch it until like <laughs> like months after it cuz he was afraid yeah. I'll break it. He didn't really? think I understood what technology was. Like he didn't trust me with things at all. Really? Yeah. Yep. And it was heartbreak like it broke my heart when uh, my cousins were playing the game and i just sat there just watching them play and i never got the chance to play it oh that yeah. remind that was my first experience with yeah. super mario brothers actually my cousin yeah, i remember that, that, that yeah uh, the, yep they were playing that yeah, yeah. I, I of course was being a brat but i was also i, was I wasn't really being a young. brat i, I was remember because it was um they were sleeping over and it was nighttime my dad was showing um my cousin one of my cousins um the system, because she was curious about it, and, sh- and showed her, and she and my dad let her play because she's older than me. Oh yeah. She, and um, she's like your age actually. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah. so yeah, and and that was the best and worst experience I dealt with in my child, w- one of them of my childhood, because I wanted to play the game. <laughs> yeah, I I lucked out. I I had my dad for my second birthday gave me Pitfall for Atari Twenty Six Hundred. But you I know something? I this. snuck a few um, playing system because my dad kept it upstairs in his uh, bedroom, but my dad worked most of the day, mm, so yeah. during the day I was sneak now. <laughs> in his room. Turn it on. Figure out how to turn it on, and I'll play a little bit. Then I'll shut it off. And <laughs> <laughs> so, you, so your first system. Well, you're you're. Uh, well, you definitely identify yourself as a gamer girl. And yeah. Your first system I was. I play this... games, so I'm a, I'm a girl. But you're. Or a woman. I don't know <laughs> what. I don't know what term you want to. Girl, yeah. woman, lady, whatever. But it, your first system was the Super Nintendo, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you're, but ne- you're glad I got my old Atari, I got my old Intellivision, I got I didn't, I didn't the, the Nintendo and, and like 30 up, games with it know, and all that. Because games were expensive. And, they were. You know, my parents worked all the time, you know, they were, they, you know, they didn't have a lot. And, but the times that they let us rent games, which was stupid, you might as well just freaking buy the game. It's cheaper to just to freaking buy the game than rent the game. Yeah. Especially back then. But, you know, when they, you know, they us do that you know i was like the best and i'm like oh my god i really like this game and i have to return dirt it back and it always pissed me off it always pissed me <laughs> yeah well yeah so you're definitely a, a true gamer girl you've been playing since you were little um yeah. i'm more i'm more casual now i don't play as much as i used to like yes. in high school I used, I used to play like all the time 
like all the time like you know high school and after high school I played but now I'm more casual because you know we're adults and we work unfortunately and we do all so it's yeah. more of a when I can do it I do it <laughs> <laughs> yeah well yeah as uh, you know I'm in my th early 30s now and it's you know, but it's still it's, our hobby. You oh know, yeah, we love it. Even of course. if we don't play it like at, like twelve hours a day, it doesn't mean we, you know we're we don't we're not gamers. Yeah, we don't give it up. You know, we're not gonna. Are you playing with the? I'm playing with the mic. Excuse me if stop, you guys hear that. Stop! Stop it! Eh. Stop it! Eh. Stop it! Oh, no. that's scratching. Oh, I'm scratching. Uh oh. Okay. Well, anyway, um. <laughs> Technical difficulties. If, girls if you hear scratching, video games. sorry. Girls that play video games. They get the same bullshit as girls that play sports. Well, for a while, originally the gamer girl thing was um, now that now it's become really complicated. I think today, I think now it's it before, about ten years ago, it was. Um, it's pretty much a girl wanting to play sports, but gets bullshit because she wants to play sports. Yeah, there was this, or she likes sports. It's it's like. Like, well, oh, are you just saying that for your boyfriend? Oh, you like that team because your boyfriend and all that crap? Yeah, I think I think about it's 10 years same, ago. It's the same bullshit. <laughs> if you go back about 10 years ago, I feel like there was um there was this stigma of either a real gamer girl or a gamer girl. Uh, uh, you know, because there were people who were... Because video gaming as of about 10 years ago was starting to become part of the mainstream. So you got people who were starting to like, hey, I want to be part of that clique. And there were girls who are maybe maybe using their attractiveness to say hey look I'm a gamer girl but they have no idea how to play games it was kind of a lie and people caught them in those lies that was that was 10 years ago though now gamer culture in my opinion has gotten so much enveloped in the mainstream where uh but that you... can be for anything cuz people want to be accepted yeah they that, want it, they want to be accepted so course. they lie of, of course especially you know everyone does especially when you're beginning a relationship people do that like oh yeah i totally know that show <laughs> I, mean, I mean this is how people who want to become journalists get their start and stuff and now and nowadays they really they, they use i've seen it when people in in high mm -hmm. school and college and they, i mean it's it's, it's gaming it's, they want to it's use it's immature to do that and you know it's it's better to be not not to sound like you know a school message or anything but um it's better to be honest of what you like and what you don't like. But I understand. But at the same time, I understand when people do do that. They just they're trying to fit in, and I, I get it as long as they don't take it too far. Yeah. <laughs> well, then, but now it's but, gotten. But sometimes when you say, "Oh yeah," like sometimes you don't even know, uh, like, with the wrong impression of something, and then you don't bother looking at yourself, and then someone someone that you like might be like, "Yeah, I'm really into gaming and stuff," and you're like. Oh, I don't really play it, and they'll show you their hobby, and you might end up liking their hobby. You might end up really liking their hobby. It doesn't mean you're, you know, you're faking or anything. You just you weren't into yeah. it. Well, back <laughs> back about ten years ago, or so the people who were complaining the most were actually uh, these so the so-called hardcore gamers, who. But it's the same thing with guys that play. Yeah. Pro sports is the same bullshit. Yeah, you were getting them, they were really complaining. No matter what, they were they yeah. were very, they, they put but, any girl under the magnifying glass but 10 years ago. at least, at least, in video game world, girls play, are allowed to play video games with a guy. In the sports world, there's still no girls in a guy's team. Still, <laughs> the sex are still separate. It's still separate. What year are we in? It's still yeah. separate. Every every team is just one gender. Yeah. It's not. It's. Yeah. What the hell? You know. I, I guess some sports, especially baseball, can really be uh, fine with both sexes in the game. Um, All sports can be fine with both. I, sexes. I guess. Yeah. As yeah. Long yeah as basketball all, too. As long and... as every team is mature, and most yeah. of them are not, no. and they should get in trouble for being, you know, dicks. But. <laughs> yeah. No, in, you know, uh, but also too with like the gamer stuff too, back. I, I keep going back ten years ago, so because that was when gaming culture started to become mainstream, and and there was these this subset of of uh, trollish guys who would go around and basically put girls under the magnifying glass, and these are the guys that now uh, are are used as an example, but to every guy now the 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 uh, cis white male the troll you know neck beard who's sitting in his home and 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 complaining there was actually that happening back about 10 years oh, ago of guys like that but you know what? who hated girls who were playing video games you know and identified themselves but as you gamers. know what there are douchebags in everything you're into 
anything that you're into. There's always going to be that douchebag that doesn't want you there. It can either be your race, your gender, the yeah. way you look. It can be whatever. Bad people no matter what. Yeah, there's bad people no matter what. And good people no matter what, too. And the thing is, now it's become a little bit more... Now it's now it's become even more complicated. Because it's, it's becoming a witch hunt now. It, everything is a witch hunt towards everything gamers. Everything is a witch hunt. Everything. Um, it's and it's I I'll I'll bring it out again. It's those social justice warrior types now that are really the forefront. That they, they they were they're doing what the trolls that I guess you could say neckbeard trolls of, of ten years ago are doing now. But they're coming at it at an angle of PR and politically correctiveness and being supposedly like the shining examples of of cultural correctiveness, and it's and it's terrible because you're getting now girls who are gamer girls who might be attractive being bashed i mean we see this with cosplay as well mm -hmm. you you oh, see yeah, definitely cosplayers we see uh, it, it, i mean recently there was a con i i forgot which con it was now that said on their bulletin board not to have uh a, as they quote uh aggressive navels what uh, the fuck is that basically <laughs> girls who are what, what what it is is you're getting a reverse thing going on you're having unattractive wait 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 what does that mean? You didn't aggressive, tell me. What aggressive is, navels? What is that? Honestly, does no that, one really knows what that is. Does that mean, what, my boobs are going to attack people? Don't navel. come if your boobs attack people. <laughs> the, navel, the navel is your belly button. You, you say if you're wearing a, a midriff shirt that, that oh, shows... So you, sh that, so that you shows can't show your belly button? Your belly button, basically. Your navel, your, 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 what about, your belly. So a guy can't show their belly button? Uh, yeah, that too. Basically, well, what it is... It's, is it for both genders, or is it just girls? It was it mostly been... aimed towards the girls. It was... It's for both genders, so but it was... So it's basically it was aimed like how school um, does their... Um, their <gasps> the dress codes their in dress school. Code. It's mostly towards the girls, and the girls yes. always get in trouble for for nothing. For being attractive. And then, um, and then it gives yeah. guys excuses to shoot girls like whores. So like, oh. Well, that's the thing. Now you're getting a lot of... Uh, it's it's going back a little bit to what happened 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah, it's all going back to that. You're getting what's known as slut shaming. Oh, look! She's showing her ankle. Mm, mm, mm. In my opinion, a girl, a, a, a huge 400-pound girl with a, with, with a midriff shirt on and her huge, gigantic belly hanging out is more of an aggressive navel than, than a, a thin... A hundred pound girl wearing like a, a sexy cosplay outfit. That's an aggressive navel. Yeah. Holy crap! That belly button's probably about to shoot off into space. Okay, you're just okay. You're bringing out your anger, but <laughs> <laughs> the mature thing, yeah, to feel about this is that well, you wear whatever you want as yeah. long as you're not showing, you know, you're not showing your sex parts. Well, then yeah, who well, gives a shit? Who gives a shit? As someone who, honestly, as someone who's been to cons, if, yeah. Oh. Everything should be fine as long as I don't see your balls, your penis, <laughs> my vagina, <laughs> and my nipples on my boobs. I get it. Yeah. No. That should be it. That's you, it. And wear shoes because you might you might hurt your you know they don't yeah. want you to sue them because you might step on something. Yeah. Well, well, <laughs> yes. Also, to the con those cons, um, they are aimed for a larger audience in terms of age range and stuff. So you want to be. Uh, you don't want to get it too risque. I can understand that. I can completely understand that. But that's that's but, just common sense. That's just yeah. Con who the hell is walking around naked? No. Right. No one. No one. No, no. one. But they're getting so 1950s esque uh, conservative with it it's it's crazy and it, and i'll backtrack to what i said about the huge girl with the belly the, the belly button if, she, if it is a huge if you're an overweight girl or a guy that wants to show off your stomach and it's part of the costume and it looks hilarious do it uh, you know but those exact same rules that are there will go after you too for for being expressive it's basically being an attack on artistic freedom that's it's what it is it, it is it's basically school rules are running in the world again it's just, it's so stupid and what's weird it's kind of a bizarre world right now because when we were younger when i was in school i used to get teased a lot um and it was these you know it was the it was the t stereotypical high school um mentality mean girls mean guys the mean, you know, the, like, the, yeah like the movie the mean assholes girls. <laughs> the, the, the people who were attractive who were popular who were type a personalities um who would come out I and basically both. attack I had people the ugly and the popular pretty girls both attack me <laughs> by the time that you graduated in, uh, which is like now 10 years ago when you graduated high school sorry oh my god yeah yeah 2005 was when you <laughs> it's okay oh my god. it's okay i accomplished nothing <laughs> no but you know 
that's when things started to you, you would get it from both sides you would get people yeah. who were envious who were unattractive and had a, a type b personality beta you know shy which i was i was i was very shy back in school i have i know exactly how that is i've changed uh, i had to for business purposes i actually took classes on and all that but it's uh, <laughs> the thing is though it, you're you're both sides were were wrong and my computer is hold on technical difficulties here sorry <laughs> pardon that Charlie you left I me I left you for a second no I saw my my monitor turn off and I'm like uh oh cuz it might shut off the recording that we're doing too oh, okay. <laughs> no but what I was saying is you know back then you get people who were who were type A personalities who were yeah, they were attractive, they were popular, and they would step on the people who were quote nerdy, who were who were who were beta personality and so forth like that. And that's that was terrible. That's wrong. And you've seen stuff like that in movies like Mean Girls and all that. But the reverse is also happening now. Now that now that nerd whoa, culture is whoa, is is, is whoa. popular, hold you're on. getting hold the, on, hold on, hold, hold your phone. There are assholes in both sides. Yes, both sides, and I met and I met them both. <laughs> of course, I met. And all of them. I met all. I met the ones that were supposedly the nice one that that you thought would be the nice ones were not the nice ones. They were they were even more nastier. Oh yeah, no. You get the you're getting now people who who are coming off as a victim who might be the people who were uh in that uh, ten years ago that that common victim uh side of things where they were being bullied for being nerdy and so forth. Now uh they're but now when they see someone that's successful online and or whatever they're getting extremely envious and and hateful you're getting people who are being banned and, and that's very unattractive even if you're hot if you act like that yeah it's i find that really ugly it's, it's really it is ugly, ugly. even if well <laughs> no matter what your outside appearance is or whatnot that yeah. that kind of personality is ugly and you're seeing yeah. it from both sides it's very childish it's very it's, it's something like a five-year-old would do yeah you know it's it's envy it's it, really what it is it's it, but they're, the thing is, they're adults, and it pisses me off. They're adults, and they're acting like yeah. children. And, and, I, and I've met children that act more like adults. <laughs> what they do, what the, the current victims, the ones who are, or at least I should say, capitalizing on victimiza- self victimization. Like do. Google? Uh, yeah, well, you're getting people. Well, the, the like problem. Google? Google? Well, like Google? You, you want to Go- get into Google. the Google situation let's, right now? Let's talk about Google, because I think we just like, uh. nailed the shit out of them. Um... Okay. <laughs> Well, there's, there's, there was a couple reasons. Because that's, that's, this is now part of it, because Google is becoming sexist. Yeah. It's sexist. Well, the whole social it justice is, warrior movement is... It in... is becoming sexist. Yeah. This is the most sexist shit I've ever seen, ever, from Google. Google is now sexist. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, all right. Well, to kind of and they're prude. They're prude, sexist, and perverts. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> that's the social justice warrior mentality going on right now. There, it's the um, you're getting these these whole these new lewd, like with the aggressive naval thing. You're getting the whole recently Google AdSense changed their assholes. policies. <laughs> yeah. All right. Dan- yeah. Danielle's pissed because I am pissed. Because this is this is bullshit. My this this blog that uh, that I'm on here on my website uh, and for years for for probably now uh, ten ten years now has been using AdSense uh, in the background for advertisement and so forth. And uh, Danielle and I, even when we do our YouTube stuff, that's also tied into the same account. You pretty much can't be sexy in any form right. or way. You. You can't, even if you cover everything, they have a problem yeah. with it. Even, yeah. even if nothing is, there's nothing. I don't see anything that's to be like. It looked like someone's wearing a bathing suit. Yeah, they, <laughs> the world explodes with Google saying, "Uh, uh-uh, uh, no, 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 no. You can't. No, no, no. My 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 pants are getting too tight. You can't do that. You you just can't." For anyone not aware <laughs> of it, recently in about about a month or two ago. Google's AdSense uh, thing said that I mean for for a longest time you couldn't if you had a website and let's say you had porn on it um, you were not allowed to have Google AdSense ads on it to and because it uh, you weren't you weren't allowed and that was understood understood by people who made content online uh, who used AdSense for their blogs for their YouTube and but everything we understood that, that. It's now that it's anymore. gone to the nth degree ridiculousness we're now. going back to the freaking fifties we're going of, back to the fifties. 
One it's of the, the 50s. Oh, absolutely. It's, it's the freaking... This is bullshit. We'd have guys <laughs> slapping bitches <laughs> going like, oh, is your woman not, not listening to you? Give her a nice big slap in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Well, one of the one of the rule some there's some points now you now if you have a blog or or any kind of content on a website that has that uses AdSense as you're helping you make money on running your website, which that's really all the AdSense has done is paid for me to have my website. I've not really made any profit off of it. It's it's really literally that amount, the amount that I get from AdSense is barely enough to pay for the yearly subscription I do to keep my website. That's it. But I let it do what, what it does. And there, some of the recent rules, I kid you not, one of them was, quote, strateg strategically placed censorship. Basically, let's say you had, uh, or like, the, the that bubble thing where you see, like, the bubble of someone, of, of image. The person could be wearing clothes behind it, but it made it look like they're nude. That's, that's not allowed. Uh, ex exposed buttocks or thighs and stuff like that. I mean, it's basically, uh, I mean, it, nothing of nudity. And this is nothing. This is no nudity at all. This is if you're showing people or or characters or art that is sexy or what they quote as lewd. This is Google's doing this now. This social justice By warrior way, crap has Google's infested little, uh, Google too. Google has two O's that look like tits. <laughs> Yes, I am triggered now because oh, the no. O's in Google look Maybe like tits. Maybe I should go there and be like, you know what, you should get that, you know, covered. Cause, I'm triggered. Because those, those remind me of my tits. <laughs> that that I should be 100% ashamed of and probably have to cut them off because society doesn't like girls with big tits in anything. <laughs> we found out the hard way about this because um, back when my blog, my, my, my blog was doing really good where I was even getting game copies to review back before Kotaku and all these damn websites even became a word all right, don't on the talk street. About yourself. Just get no, to the I'm point. just I'm just, just get to the point. <laughs> what happened Sab was story. Well back Sab then story. back in two thousand nine, two thousand ten, me, DannyChu.com, a number of other anime websites and gamer websites then, blogs that eventually became Charlie, quote get to journalists. The goddamn point. I'm, you're boring your <laughs> listeners. You're boring them. You're boring them to death. We posted <laughs> stuff of various things, especially anime stuff like like images, oh, artist images, <laughs> uh, and <laughs> and Jap idols, God and damn idols, it. Get to the and point. Japanese idols, yeah, and which I'm cool with. Danielle's and I'm a girl. Her. I'm a fucking girl. <laughs> you know, Japanese idols um, are Japanese models who willfully uh, get paid and they to be nude. models. They were The pictures we had, they weren't nude. No, they were covered. They were covered. Covered. They were just in had bikinis. sexy in bikinis and bras and. Aggressive navels. Underwear. It's the same thing as Victoria's Secret. It's the same thing. Yeah. It was the same thing. No more risque than, than anything seen in Victoria's Secret or oh, so forth. Oh, God. Victoria's Secret has more risque shit than stuff we had. <laughs> and we were told... First, I was told to remove it from a, an archived page that wasn't even really part of the blogger blog I have on there because... At the time, Google changed where you couldn't even, where you weren't even allowed to host anymore on your own website, where you had to create a subdomain to then host off of their own servers, which is fine. It helps with the bandwidth. Because Google Plus. <laughs> yeah. Google Wave. Hey, that thing worked out just great. Oh um, yeah, I got beta involved into that. I'm doing the thing again with my hands I'm not allowed to do. Hey, I'm can't wait till. I, I, I think Google condoms are now in, uh, in beta. Right now, but you have to. The uh, next thing is gonna be you showing your hands clapping. You have to make sure that you're a <laughs> dragonkin though before you can sign up. Apparently, oh, freaking... um, you know. So it's. But then, uh, just the other day, we got another. Uh, the actual post in the blog itself got flagged, um, and it was. It was thankfully just that exact same one, so it, it was Google focusing on that content. But what what do we say about the many? anime pictures and stuff i do a thing on, on my blog and it still is even though i don't, haven't been blogging as much as i want to um i still keep fan service friday on there and i've been doing that not just because i wanted to keep that going but also to kind of poke at the social justice warriors and say you know uh sexiness isn't sexist S being sexy is not sexist and that's the that's the problem and the, pro the thing Telling is Someone yeah. to feel bad about themselves because of their gender and the way they look is sexist. Yeah, if you tell a guy, sexist, and also can it can be racist too because this is just bullshit. This because this is this is Google is digging in this little hole, and it, they, they drank the punch. That's they what keep, it is. They keep they drank digging. the social justice warrior they punch. They keep digging, 
and someone else I, I hope someone else takes over because this is this is it's crazy i'm afraid of what this is going well you know what we need i'm afraid of what the breaking point is going to lead to i'm afraid of that i really i'm afraid of the domino effect i'm, I'm afraid of it it's a slippery slope I'm, I'm very very afraid of it i'm free i'm afraid we're gonna end up like girls are gonna end up having to wear what are they called <laughs> burkas <laughs> we're gonna end up wearing burkers burkas uh, whatever <laughs> <laughs> burger you said burger uh, burger <laughs> Bur burgers we'll wear burgers yeah that's yeah. gross um no but you know, yeah <laughs> It tastes be, good though. Be like mm. that commercial with a. Uh, oh God, I can't think of the names. <laughs> what? The... Uh, Paris Hilton. Remember the commercial she did with the oh, burger? Oh, with with Carl Juniors and Hardy. Yeah, the... that's like I know that's like now old school. But remember that when she did the? That was only a couple of years ago, like a year or two ago. That wasn't long ago, I think. You sure. Yeah. But that was longer. I might yeah. be thinking of someone else because I think everyone's done that. <laughs> well, that's how Carl. Actually, yeah, does. I like, bet Social Justice like, Warriors hate this. Those is the only meal I eat for a week. Why do I get paid? <laughs> <laughs> you know, because I've seen the other extreme too. I've been, I, I briefly was yeah, in the modeling thing. Yeah, I've seen the thing. other extreme. The too. anorexia it, it, um, model it mentality goes, bull crap. Anything extreme of anything is usually bad. I've seen that. I mean, you can't even drink too much. You know, you can over, you know, you can over drink water for freak's sake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, but but Google and and when I when I first complained about this, people were telling me, and they linked me to a blog post saying that. Understandably, a lot of content creators were pissed about this, saying, you know, this is a slippery slope. You're going to have artists, you know, w w what about people who take nude photography and so forth? What about and people that, that paint nude people or, or draw nude people right. or um, just anything? And that's the nude stuff. Just anything. And I don't even or, have that. Or even some things can look like body parts when you draw. It, right. it probably isn't, but some things can you, you can say that kind of looks like a vagina. That looks you like know? a penis. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And he loves me again. God, bitch. <laughs> I have the I have the uh, laptop on the other it's end. It's kind of, of the funny thing. the way you you run. I hopped I, around. It looks like you got pee. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying not to make too much vibration and not and screw up the uh, mic too, but. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really this is funny. a good mic, but it's it the way it's rigged right now. It could easily get screwed up. Oh, that's great. Uh, I'm but so glad. yeah, <laughs> I know. I need I need a full I, true studio. I, honestly, I just don't want things. I don't, I don't want history to repeat itself. Yeah, that's really my main concern. I don't want history to repeat itself. What's messed up about it is that Google said in the post that they from the backlash that people initially gave. They're like, okay, we're gonna stop. We're not gonna do this thing. And sure enough, this happened two days ago. I got flagged again. So it's so, they didn't stop. So they liar, lied. liar, pants on fire. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're yeah. Liars. So Google lied. They're not, they're not only sexist and perverts and assholes. They're liars. Yeah. So you no know, big shock, a big company is a liar. But you know, everyone sees them as they're supposed to be seen as the good guys. The good guys. But they're not. They have great services and stuff, but um, this is what happens they're, when you let a company take off too, too much control. They're falling. They're, they're like I said, they're starting to dig that hole, and if they don't stop, it's someone else is going to take over. They've been poisoned and I by hope this. So someone does. <laughs> they've been poisoned by this false feminism, this third wave feminism that's that's come right, around. First of all, it's not feminism. They're not I know. Feminism. I know they're not. They're, they're not, not anything. But the F <laughs> as the <a> fuckers. <laughs> yeah. You know, people who have actually fought real. They're, they're, uh, they're gender haters. It is. It's they're, gender. It's misandrous. They're, ge gender haters. They're gender haters. They hate white people. They hate, you know. Which, which actually, is... you know what? They're just haters. Yeah. They're just freaking haters. They just like to call themselves it's feminism. It's about white privilege they, and all that They, they like to call themselves feminism because it makes them sound like they're self-important. Right. Like they're doing, what they're doing is the greater good. Yeah. They're making them, they're covering up. That they're assholes. It's no true Scotsman <laughs> kind of mentality. It's like, oh, well, it, I'm a white person. It's pretty much what Hitler did. It's pretty much what Hitler did. It's pretty much what Hitler did. Because I'm saying did. that. Yeah. It's pretty much what Hitler did. Just oh. blame it on someone else. Just blame it on a group of people. Oh, yeah. And that's what they're doing. Well, the start of what he did, not what he completed into, which was But this, that's how he was started. abhorrent and that's the how worst things ever. But that's how he started. He blamed a group of people. And everyone does. Everyone. Yeah. 
now pe- people well actually people have always blamed like a group of people people right. blame the irish people blame the chinese people blamed um they blame the japanese they blame and, the, oh god they blame, blame this, and, this and, group, oh, and blame group. them and now we blame uh spanish and mexican people for our jobs and shit like that when nope. it wasn't so long ago we blamed the irish you now know we it's blame straight white people and now now we're blaming white people it, 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 it's, it's stupid and when, it's very childish. And the, and the world is global now because of the internet, and that's a wonderful thing. And if you were to take into perspective the global view, white people, Caucasians, are not the majority. Well, we're duh. not the majority. Well, duh. In the world, for the world. <laughs> I, I know United States so, uh, and a lot of people, I, I guess, well, I shouldn't say everyone, but a lot of people I've met, I've met people that don't realize that the world doesn't revolve around white people. There's more Asians out there than <laughs> the world doesn't revolve around the United States either yeah I people online who are not from the United States and I don't blame them they're pissed every time they're like oh god okay you guys are, oh all right of course it's from the American point of view it's the American point of view it's the American point of view yes America created the internet in a way for the most part. well you can kind of put it up to towards CERN in, in Europe but um you know <laughs> it's people are getting tired of everything being american centric and it shouldn't be it should it shouldn't be american centric it should not it should not be any country centric very, which is weird it's, we have this little like tight culture thing we don't like to look at other cultures yeah. thing which is weird because we have people from all over the world that come here you'll think we would, most people here would be yeah. more open minded and know about different pop cultures and stuff here in long island you still have italian families that um go oh, you, you got to make sure you're with an italian person you can't you can't be with anyone else it's like what the f- come on be or, or, what is this 1880 i can only date a jew kind of thing yeah i, I can only date a jew i can only yeah. date someone who's this race yeah race or indian when or you crap i've said this online too just before uh if you use race as a crutch if you use it as a way to, to, to be prejudiced, if you use it, use it a way to say that you have privilege or say you don't have privilege, <laughs> is a load of crap because we're all so closely related, it, it is not, it, it's not even funny. We're literally 50th cousins away from each other. We're all from Africa if you go back far enough. Who the freak cares about race? It all depends on the content of your character. You know, it's, and that's, Martin Luther King said that. Content of Hold character. On. I'm doing a thing with my hand again. Oh, you're clapping. <laughs> trigger. Trigger warning. Oh, no. Trigger. And I'm only lightly clapping because it's... Charlie! It, Charlie applause. Yay! No, I, I don't want to applause so myself. I'm proud of you. Yay! No, you got to do jazz hands. Oh, my God. Jazz I just, hands. I just realized... Jazz hands. I just realized. You know Archer? Archer? Do, yeah. Do you think Pam is going to end up not doing the yay <laughs> anymore because it's... Clapping is a big no-no. It's a trigger. It, no. Oh. Listen, if it's you're a big no no. If 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 they applause if, if clapping or applause creates that much PTSD to you, you need medical help. And you need I'm not downing you if you have it. There are people who have it who have been through some traumatic situations in their lives. No, seeing someone say something quote what they thought was misogynist or seeing sexy women is not post traumatic stress disorder. It's, it's just jealousy. If, <laughs> if you've been in war, it's jealousy. <laughs> if you if, if you're like the Kurds in 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 uh, in in the Middle East who who are the only ones fighting well, who are fighting ISIS, well, you have the uh, you actually I, have the right to say that I you have PTSD. I give an example of you know loud sounds. I don't want to use the word trigger. It's just a stupid word now. <laughs> San Franciscan um, hipster okay. in California okay, right. dude, has never dude, dealt with po- post-traumatic stress disorder dude. unless they were in the military. I'm sorry. Or a crappy household. And in most cases, Charlie, no, that's not the case. let me freaking talk. God okay. damn it. Misogyny. Okay. I'm going to give you Not letting you talk. Are you going to let me talk? Yes, I'll let you talk. Oh, my God. Calm, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> calm down. Drink your coffee. Relax. Okay. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> white male. <laughs> I got the odds. <laughs> all right, all right. Here's an example. I'm not gonna use names, cause I, cause I don't want to. Yeah, don't use don't uh, use. I'm not using names. any names, especially this example. This girl is young. Um, this little girl, she is. She got in a car accident when she was two. I think about two. Mm-hmm. And it was a really bad car accident, and you know she broke her arm, and she has stress disorder because of it Mm -hmm. and she'll do things it's not really normal for a little girl to do like she'll freak out like really bad like really freak out over if you know 
if um, she's left alone for too long or she thinks she's in danger. Like, she'll she'll suddenly think she's in danger. She'll scream and stuff. And if there's a really, you know, if there's a loud noise, like, in a movie or, like, in a crowd, like, like a loud bang or noise, like, she starts crying and shaking because she Ooh. had that dramatic yeah. scene. And I understand that. It happens. However, the parents... Are not babying it. Right. She's she's being she's in counseling. Right. Right and now, that's what she and they're trying have. to help her go past it. It's gonna take a while, but it, it's not. They're not gonna hide her in the corner and tell everyone, no, you can't. You can't make this sound. You can't do this. You can't do that. Right. You can. You know. They let the teachers know. Like she went through this. If she starts crying or something, just you know, walk her out of the room. You know, let, let her cry it out mm-hmm. and say it's okay you know we'll hug her or whatever and until she comes down and then bring her back it, and, yeah and you know yeah. if a little girl can <laughs> can fight over her problems and try to get over it she's only like six now <laughs> yeah Oh, she's and, little. And, but and she can eventually get over that. She can get over. Time. Oh, anyone can. You know, not all that, all, you... not over over it, but they can fight it. They can, right. they, you know, there could be progress in, in it. And 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 playing the blame game and playing the victim game is bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> I'm and, sick of the victim shit. And babying people who and, and not who won't help their problem. Babying people is another subject, but I feel like everyone wants to be a freaking victim. It's yeah. always a sab story. It's always a freaking sab story. Sob story. You know, sab story. Sab? You say sab? <laughs> you no, know, you're it's right. Not a, you, uh, it's not that. It's a sab story. It's sab, <laughs> sab story. That's sob story. It, no, I'm not calling it that. You're not calling it a sob no, story? No, I'm not calling it a feminist, and I'm not calling it that either. <laughs> a sab because, story. Because it's... Okay. it's Because they're saying it to get attention. It is. They're sure. saying it to get attention and try to make themselves look like the good guys. Well, they try to make themselves look like they're the best thing to ever come to this generation. Yeah. Like, I'm here for everyone to be happy. That's pretty, you know, yeah. but in reality, they're not. Just like Hitler. Wait, oh, jeez. <laughs> well, I wouldn't put... But, we're, but it's the same shit, because Hitler is like, I'm here to fix everything. <laughs> this is the problem, and this is the problem, yeah. and we need to fix it. You, How is that any different from what they're doing? It's the start How of the same problem. How is that any yes. different? It's, it's, it's not any different. What, it, what you're talking about is authoritarianism. It's, it's, author, it's, when it comes to the political you spectrum. You know what? We're going to have freaking, like, commercials <laughs> <laughs> of a little, you know, before a movie starts. They're going to have this, like, like, like they did during World War Two, They can have these, like, little commercials like they did in Germany going, like, but it's going to be about clapping. <laughs> it's going to be like, if you see a white male clapping, please call the police. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's getting are, to that Are point. they hoping that we get camps for, like, attractive people and white guys now uh, is is this gonna be a nice little camp <laughs> thing they're gonna start um because that's where they're leading to um, and it pisses me off that no one's going shut the fuck up <laughs> yeah get off the internet you don't deserve the internet you don't deserve anything you deserve help that's it <laughs> here's the problem if you go out and say shut the fuck up you you're crazy stop saying that that white people are a problem stop going around being social justice warriors you then get blocked by a million people uh, with the stupid block bot that was done by this fat, crazy, uh, blue-haired haired girl that doesn't which, even know how to code. Which and... is... Oh, my God. That's that's another childish crap. <laughs> and and you also, as a programmer, and, and I've noticed this with, with, with companies like I, I, IGDA and, and other gatekeeper companies out there, they make it where you're not allowed to get even uh, hired in, in a lot of cases. So people are having to be silent about it. It's, it's basically... It's, it's, it's Hitler. It's Hitler. Well, it's a yeah, it's, it's authoritarianism. It, it's Hitler. It's a start. Well, it, he's beyond. He's no, at the extreme end no, of what they it, the end Charlie, game of what they want. It's wanted. starting. It's starting the well, same right. way. <laughs> Just here, here is, to get back into games and stuff. I know no one wants to hear because oh, oh god. Oh, there was a game. Don't that, say that. Don't say that. Don't say that. There was a game that just um, came out. Okay. I'm saying it because it's it's 
leading up to the same thing. Well, in the end, it's the end game of these people. It is the end game, and it's uh, there are people the who are game, saying that the end game should have been. <laughs> <laughs> that should have been every company that saw that should have been like, okay, we may we we shouldn't have not been friends with these people. Nope. Okay. Nope. Nope. Do you know what? Nope. Turn around. Run. Door that way. Start clapping. <laughs> there was a game that just came out. I want to. All right. Um, was it about clapping? No, but it caused people to get, quote, triggered. Clap, now, clap, 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 clap. There was a game. Uh, it did, just, two, did two boobs, like, shoved in the screen? Like, no. Bam. No, 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 no. It wasn't that. And then it clapped the screen, and then things exploded in the background. <laughs> there was a game there's a game that just came out that was being talked about call um and it's still being talked about right now called pillars of infinity uh it was made with unity which is a game engine that i've been working with very cl- uh, closely right ra- lately uh-huh. um they create in the game it, it was another one of those kickstarter games which i've never really done but people have um their kickstarter and pe- one person paid a lot of money to have their content in the game Someone paid to have their poem in the game, and the poem, w- I might be paraphrasing some of it, so I should be, I might be a little bit off, but the, the poem in there was about a guy, it was just a, a quick thing about a guy who found out that his wife was really a guy, and he jumped off a, a cliff uh, and died. You know, it was, it was, it was a funny little, little quip in there. Problem is, the social justice warriors went nuts. They were flipping out on it, and one person in particular- Whoa. Whoa, over a poem? Over a poem that was a side thing in a game, in the Pillars of I Infinity. I thought when you said poem, I'm like, oh my god, it's about a black guy, this sort of fat chick, and got disgusted and, and killed himself. <laughs> the claim was that it was against transgendered people. Now listen. Uh, oh, for fuck's sake. You know, stop using transgendered as a, a shield of of um, of being a, some sort of it's, special victim. It's the victim card. It is. Victim, victim, victim. I have been for years... A supporter of the LGBT community and T is transgendered, uh, transsexual, transgendered people, and I am fully in support of it. I have friends who have, who, who who are now transgendered women, and uh, they are wonderful people. And you know, what? it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if whatever it doesn't if whatever it, you're whatever you want in the bedroom, as long as it doesn't hurt anyone, or or when I, whatever you want to identify yourself as a guy it or doesn't girl, matter. fine. As long as you're a good person. Who gives a shit? <laughs> and he's running again like he's got to pee. <laughs> right. I got I to gotta make sure the laptop doesn't uh, go in sleep mode. Oh. But well, the but here's what happened with that. You're getting people who are using their transgenderedness as a as a in- instant victimization shield. And that's terrible for people who are transgendered <laughs> and who are being attacked. Oh, my God. For real. And, and this is why I don't watch the news. One of the girls <laughs> who's well, was a guy, now a girl, um... Who had again? What sucks is I love neon hair from anime, but these tran- these these not trans the the, the people who were Why the social justice warriors. What does that have to freaking do with anyone? I don't know. Well, that's part of it. In turn, well, the, uh, everyone that seems to come out with that is is and has be cool these crazies. Hair. They have really cool hair. I like that hair, but they're they're crazy. Everyone who's come out with that cool hair, they're nuts. Oh my god, dude! Is it like the zombie thing? Is the is the are they dyeing their hair so much? That it's going in their skull. Maybe the dye and is it's going causing into there. poisoning in their brain, and they're just losing it, and they're coming, z- and then they're gonna become zombies, and then they're gonna create a camp. <laughs> well, <laughs> that sing, person, Kumbaya. <laughs> one of the one of the people who was animate, animate about Pillars of Infinity to make sure that they get rid of that poem on there, was saying stuff like kill all men we should we should put all them in camps and kill all white people and stuff like that and it's and and, and that's gender hating yeah and it's gen it's gender hating yeah like i said before they are not feminist. they're not feminists. they just hate they just hate your gender that's it they just hate your gender there's nothing about equal rights at all they're just they just hate your gender and they are a blemish and not only on that they the lgbt hate, community not only that they hate your sexuality right they hate your sexuality they hate your race and they hate your gender I defend, That's three strikes. I defend the LGBT community to the death. To, 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 I'll defend them from, hey, from, from Charlie, bigots. It's three strikes. Uh, They're out. They I should def- be out. <laughs> yeah. I. But the thing is, companies like Obsidian, the co- the company that owns, that made but Pillars you know, of Infinity, you, you, caved to that crap. They, they changed it. Can I ask you a question? Have any of you guys went up to these people and been like, why are you attacking my sexuality? Yeah. 
Or you know what you can also do? If when they say I hate all that's what they're doing. They're attacking your sexuality. Y- You're like, I can't help it that I'm straight. I was born that way. You, you know one way to confuse them? Go up to, if if any of them say this and they go <laughs> You know what I can confuse them and go up to them and like, I play video games and I have big boobs. In your yeah. face. <laughs> Yeah, or I try to show them how to program something. They, their <laughs> brains will explode. They don't. They, in your but, face. In your face. You know, this is not JavaScript. This is not Twine. Um, you know. Well, that that doesn't matter what you use. Who cares? No, it doesn't. Well, JavaScript, uh, it's getting better. But anyways, the um, uh, the uh, these people are just really hateful. But the problem, if you say if they go, they hate all men, and then you go, oh, but what about black men? They might their heads will explode. It'll, destroy their logic because they're always the ones defending minorities and all that stuff and it's like uh-huh. it, well, uh, quote uh-huh. defend they're they're, they're sure using they people as their shield sure they are they're using people <laughs> as their shield and trying to think for others and it you shouldn't you should not do that you should well, not think nazis. for others it, it's fem nazis it is in they're the, the kdk exact... and nazis it is it, it, like i said before it's just the same shit repeating itself and it's gonna keep going. The bullshit is gonna keep turning. Sexy girls in video turning. games and anime is not sexist. Turning. In a lot of cases, it's done by girls. It's drawn by girls, and it's a great way of showing their power as being sexy. That's what this, the 1970s feminists fought for. Yeah, they burned their bras and said, "Fuck you, society. Whatever the fuck I want." Honestly, we need most, a f- most. Well, we need they don't wear anything. Most of them are in the woods and we're naked. They're like, I don't give two shits about what people think. This is my body. I own this body. No one else owns this body but me. Honestly, I think real feminists just stand up and create a fourth wave of feminism. Um, that's <laughs> that every... sounds really weird. <laughs> I know. It's it, all are the we surfing. All, all the sexy girls that are out there. All sexy girls go surfing. All just do it. Gamer girls, girls. who are uh, and cosplayers <laughs> who who are attractive or uh, th- that are being. A slut shamed and everything should stand you know up what? to these crazy trolls. But you know what? It's not. It's not just those crazy uh, women. It's the crazy guys too that agree with those women, and then they attack girls like me. They go, "What the fuck?" Yeah. And then they and then they sexually harass me and other girls. Yeah. Oh, another argument too with the cosplay stuff too is I get you know well they're always cosplaying as sexy versions of those characters. What about a good cosplay? Listen, if you make cosplay outfits Listen. and you do great work with it wonderful please keep doing it and actually that has more weight to it than just a bland hold on like i said again wherever the fuck you want it, even yeah. if it's cosplay do whatever you want with it you it's, should be welcomed it's, either way it's supposed to be creative and fun right that's the whole point of being, don't get envious that's the whole point of cosplaying is to show off your passion for what you love so who gives you know people mm-hmm. take it too far those those hater people they, yeah they take it way too far people who hate they're very nasty either, they they're should nasty. just let let people be expressive stop I'm jealous stifling little babies that their parents should have slapped them across the face and say don't act like that stop stifling artistic f- creativity on, on either side uh, and, and that's what they're doing yeah. now it's and it's terrible we see this it with gaming terrible. and we see uh, this like, with anime like, you know and, banning that cover not anime, for but, fuck's sake what's that they're like banning that cover from Batman. Oh, the Batman cover. Yeah, yeah. the 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 Joker with yeah. Batgirl and so forth. They yeah. co- they 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 had that blocked. Uh, well, they 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 try to stink about it. The author, the creator of it, decided not to have it. Be it the creator of it supposedly really didn't wanted another cover instead of that one. But so it's not entirely the fact of the social justice warriors getting all pissed off about it. It was also the fact that the, the author the changed. Attitude it, but the attitude it got. Yeah. Pisses me off. Even it's, the creator did want to. It, if the creator did want to put it up, it would piss me off even more. But even if it didn't, it's still kind of bullshit because it's like, um, yeah, it's, it's an art piece. Calm down. Yeah, if you're, it's an... not real. It's an art piece. <laughs> Be it an artist, a cosplayer, uh, a, a costume designer, well, well, any, uh, any a, any a game developer, art. any kind of content creator, yeah. you should not have to worry that the politically correct police is going to come out there the thought police is going to come out there and and police everything you do and not only po- not only well, complain about it but also prevent you from having a job <laughs> because of it uh, and, and getting clients i've had people that people recently that were trying to come after me and try to find my people i've talked to and and, and whatnot now i i'm all over block the, those people i block them and i'm also everywhere and well i try not to block too i'm not to be that person that goes and blocks every I, single person I with only, those block lists i only anything. block people that Actually, harass. Either 
harass me, sexual harass me, or sexual or harass my followers. They, yeah, once they harass they do your that, followers. When, yeah. they, when they start doing that, I block them because I'm like, no, no, no. You're not attacking my followers. <laughs> yeah. Because that's, that's childish. It's like, grow up, guys. Yeah. Get a job. Do do something with your yeah. life. God damn it. There are God people, freaking damn it. If Just they want to fight social it. justice, there's so many real There are people issues that are suffering. Going on. Volunteer, for God's sake. Volunteer, then. You want to help people? You want to help this world a little bit? Volunteer. Shaming there's an so artist. There's so many things you can do. Shaming content creators, game developers, artists who make stuff that don't appeal to your every and ever changing specific feelings. Then don't buy it. Needs it's to so stop. simple. You, you need to stop it's doing so that. Simple. Just stop, you know, just, they shouldn't just, have to listen just, to you. Just turn the I'm other saying. way. Turn the other way. Don't look at it. Don't buy it. Right. Don't share it. Just ignore it. It's not there. It's very simple. It's very simple. I. As a game developer, I was appalled by the fact that the the uh, the Kim Kardashian game did so much money. It's hardly what's considered a game. Well, but am I going to go out there and on. say... It did good because I think BuzzFeed showed it. And yeah. That, and that's what caused everyone to be like, what the fuck game is that? So the curiosity came out and then yeah. everyone... It was so bad it. it was good kind of thing. It was like the room kind of thing. where it, mm -hmm. It's so bad and hated that it, it got enough publicity that then people... <laughs> Charlie, you're tearing me apart. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> All right, let's change the subject because this, yeah, this is getting very I good. know, but, but you know what it is. I'm not going to go out there and say, Ben, Kim Kardashian game. Just go out there and make better games. Make stuff that, that, that proves your point. Stop trying to stifle Stop people's creativity. Stop being an adult that's palleting all the time. Right. Stop it. Yeah. Stop. It's not attractive. It's pathetic. It's not attractive. At all. It's childish. It, it very is. So, okay, let's change the subject. All right. I want I want to talk about, actually, I thought of the subject at work. And yeah. I love the interesting subject. Okay. Since we're talking about, you know. Gamer stuff. Uh, well, not, not just that. But characters. Or just people in general. And I'm going to talk about personality-wise. For both genders. What do you find? What makes a strong person? What makes a strong person and a strong character? Uh, I guess the ability to face adversity and maybe to change when um, it was it's tough to change. I think is that's there's a number of things that makes people strong. It's not um, and characters strong in 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 entertainment. I I think there's um, I, yeah. I I guess the strong and beautiful. What makes a person? It could be either gender. Oh, okay. Strong and beautiful person. Someone who knows who they are, I feel. Someone who's who's got, um, who knows exactly who they are, but it is also selfless, not selfish, and um, is able to uh, help others if need be. Once that person is in a position of self-power, they can then help others in a non-selfish, look at me, gloat, ah, uh, look, I'm, I'm in the limelight kind of way. That's, I feel, as someone who's strong. A hero, in my opinion, is someone who doesn't go around looking for 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 being known as a hero. It's someone who goes and actually just does it for the does good for the sake of good. That's that's someone who's strong. But you like Iron Man. I like Iron Man. He shows off that he's a he does superhero. Show off I do like <laughs> Iron Man. Yeah, he, all, all the Avengers. That's my favorite one. Well, I like Iron Man because he's able to use his brains and his all right and his money too. To, um, so you, you like so it's like a asshole Batman, it's like a gloaty Batman. It's it's yeah he's like a gloaty Batman, <laughs> but I'm Batman. <laughs> if I had that position, I wouldn't be as gloaty as him and, and showy, but I would also I would definitely use my time to be oh, creating that stuff. <laughs> you love the part when you went. I'm Iron Man. <laughs> I'm Iron Man. Oh yeah, when he just because you know and yeah, the superheroes you, you normally don't go. Hey, you, you they, they keep it hidden and all that. Yeah, he was like, I'm Iron Man. And he, he didn't give two shits. He didn't care. That was that was cool. <laughs> that was in the that was in the first movie. Yeah, <laughs> I just remember how much that was in the first that. one. So I guess it's my turn. Yeah. Okay. So what what I find uh, a really strong person is someone is people that are kind. Yeah. People that are nice, nice people, I think, are the stronger people. And I'll tell you why. Because it's not easy to be nice. It's not. It's not easy to be the good person. It's a lot. Of, it, it's easier to be an asshole. It's yeah. hard to be 
nice to people. Life sucks. It does. At times. It really does. And it's I easy always, to be bitter. I always had to fight with myself to just be a good person. Because there are times I just want to snap. <laughs> and, like, I had enough. And I, I pretty much had hit my I had enough. Because I, like, I just... I act all nice. And I'm like, eh. Eh. It's kind yeah. of the default for here on Long Island in New York. It's to be bitter. And yeah. that's where we get that it, it's the stereotype bitterness. of New Yorkers. But because, you know, I got kicked down for being nice to people. Like, people yeah. used me. People were assholes towards me and betrayed me in so many ways. So it's hard to be a nice person, especially when you get older and you get nothing but crap at yeah. you. It's, it's hard to be a nice person. So people that stay good and stay friendly towards others... Is someone that's really strong, even after all the bullshit. That's someone that's strong. Yeah, you want to see someone who's faced PTSD, who has the right to say they have post-traumatic stress disorder. Talk to someone who's in their 70s or 80s, who's been through hell their whole life and is still alive, still kicking. And, and then you'll see little, someone uh, doing a little crazy dance with their butt. <laughs> and they will tell these 20-something hipsters that are complaining about PTSD uh, triggers and all that to shut the fuck up. Because oh, we, we tell them to shut the fuck up. We tell them to, and, I, and I'm only 31, and, and you know, but the, you get people who, who really have the right to be triggered and hurt because they've been through hell, uh, be it from but real you know discrimination what? and stuff, like people but who are older. You're... Here's the thing they understand that it's the world is involved around them, right? And it's not right to bring others down because it's something that's personal to you, right? That's that's. That's what a child does. Even children don't usually act like that. It's a temper tantrum. It is. It it's it's adults pouting. Right. So yeah, that's yep, that's the thing. Well, that I, is the thing. A lot of the people who who are being noisy like this, they they are pouting like this. They come from upper middle class families, who've had everything handed to them their whole lives, eh. and then they're feeling guilty about that being handed now. Yes, which... and no, I just think it's just people just being jealous. That too. I mean, just people just being jealous over everyone. Everyone. And I didn't come from that it's... kind of background at all. <laughs> I didn't either. And Like I said. I'm, I, I'm the oldest of eight kids. I barely had any video games to play when I was a kid. And I like I played like over all the games I had like so many times. It was ridiculous. All right. I had a lot of games, but that was – a lot of it was my parents – basically trying to give games for every one of us and have me be the uh i guess the the one who is the keeper of all that even though I, you know <laughs> the ge ge gamekeeper that should have been your username. the gamekeeper <laughs> your name should have been gamekeeper my my That's a freaking awesome name until I'm, someone has it <laughs> until i moved out of my parents my video game systems were used by my siblings and until got that destroyed. and got ruined and got destroyed they got I I can't tell you how many headsets I've went through with my Xbox and stuff and because they threw them across the you know and your parents didn't give you shits and that was all out of my money I didn't my parents yeah. didn't give me that well stuff. every every ad good most, chunk of it most of my anime um, tapes and stuff I had I I bought with my own money and there were some games I bought with my own money too I've been working since two thousand I used the year to do odd jobs when the PS one was or PS two was announced I used to do odd jobs all the time when I was a kid. You since know? I think since the yeah since the Nintendo sixty four PlayStation two era, I was paying for all of my games for with my money. It was never do, do, handed do, to me. Do, 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 um, do, do, except do, maybe do, when I was younger when I couldn't work, but I would also help my father out uh, every day working for a dollar an hour with him at the time. You know, I, I mean, I wouldn't do much work. I would just be helping to to the point that I could at a young age just just to be there and just show my commitment and that's what got me the games. I showed basically what I'm trying to say is I did hard work to work to then get that reward. I didn't have everything handed to me. You know, and then you get these people who are that are have had those lives and then they're feeling guilty about it and it's like all right, fine. I understand. It's it's... But don't don't throw that onto other people like that. I think and, and that, that guilt. That self, <laughs> that self guilt. Sleepy cats talked about. I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure they talked about this too. It's... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're mimicking <laughs> sleepy cats, I guess, a little bit here. We are. Um, Who we love. These you guys are awesome. Yeah. If you can hear us. And you're a broken chef. I'm a, I'm a broken chef. Yeah, broken chef. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful. You put hoisin sauce in your. In your in your French toast, you asshole. You know, it's great to see someone that's also um has Asian background and doesn't look very Asian. Yeah, Mick, a uh, rice pirate. Yeah, cause I'm I, I'm like that too, and people are like, you're yeah. Asian. 
Yeah, because you're a quarter <laughs> Japanese. He's it, Mick is half Irish, half Chinese, and you get it all the time where people go, "Oh, you're not. You're Asian. You're Asian." It's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have family in Japan. You yeah. have, you know, I'm special. <laughs> you, you have family in Japan. I'm a special little nugget. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Uh, uh, Blood family, blood relationship. My in Japan my background and... is all over the place. It does sound like I'm making it up because if I go back to like my background from my family, from both sides, it's very all over the place. It yeah. is all over the place, and it does sound like I'm lying, but I'm not. You know, from my mom's fine. side, they were from the Mayflower. That's fucking ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then my grand, uh, my grandfather on my dad's side, he was from Italy. His family used to be part of the church over there, and they got kicked out and had changed their name, um, changed their last name because because my great grandfather got remarried, and my mm. great grandmother was Jewish. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, you're you're part Jewish. Uh, in in the uh, I'm Hebrew, part Hebrew Hebrew, I guess you should say I'm part yeah. Hebrew. Jewish is a Jewish is a religion. Is, yeah. Hebrew or Israeli yeah. is is yeah. a nationality. Uh, wow. You know or. Uh, you know, it, people keep. I mean, it's it's easier to say, "Hey, I'm, I'm I Jewish." I am all but... over the place. My background is all over the place, and I understand it sounds like I'm lying, but I'm not. It just so happens my background is yeah. all over the place. <laughs> and you're not claiming that, uh, uh you know, there's but I'm not a bunch claiming of. I'm special. Uh, do, 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 do you hate us cis white males, Danielle? No. No. Okay. No. Just most of you guys gotta lose some weight and you know, <laughs> get Exercise. some hair and. Uh, you know, hair on our heads. Yeah, get some hair. Get enough hair on our. Yeah, like you know, chin, shave, chin, chin. shave. You know, shower. Yeah. Get a job. <laughs> get it. Get out. a gym membership. Yeah. <laughs> Eat healthier. Yeah. But I say that for yeah. all guys. I'm I'm very picky with guys. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's I'm all kinda, right. I'm I'm like kind of a douchebag when it comes to. You're picky what, with what, that. What, what I find attractive towards guys, I'm I'm kind of a douchebag. Well, you shouldn't be at fault because honestly, that's our natural um. That's the natural gravitation of, of humanity no, uh, girls, and instincts is to go for the more attractive. I think attractive. girls settle for less. I think because they settle for less too easily, I think guys have slacked off a bit. Yeah. I think guys slacked off. and then. Well, at least here in the United States, I should say. Yeah. You go to well, other countries. Yeah, anywhere that's, else. Like, guys wear case. makeup, for, for Christ's sake. They wear makeup. <laughs> you know, at least here in the United States. it's. I wish you guys wore makeup. You know, there is still that thing where the guy pop <laughs> but you know just but you don't want to get into vanity and all that you want to just take just be good to yourself take care of yourself well i want both i want a good looking person <laughs> that's nice because whatever genes my other significant other has is going to be passed down to my children and i'm not going to fuck them over fucking a f- ugly guy oh <laughs> ouch yeah but but danielle you got to remember too people who uh, I'm there, not, there are okay, people who how, are ugly that okay. are that are or, or that are, that are nice gonna, people. Okay. You, don't want, you don't want to become like the social justice warriors, you know. But I'm not. But I'm not saying that they all they don't deserve love. I'm just saying my personal taste. Oh, okay. I no, no. All right. No, it's a personal taste. It's all nothing right. to do with anyone. Because some people like people that look like that. It's all over the internet for Christ's sake. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, that's true. And I shouldn't be shamed. You know, I shouldn't be put down because I like pretty boys. God damn it. No, you shouldn't be put down. But I get put down for liking pretty boys. They're like, they look like girls. I'm like, they look hot. I I get put down now (laughs) They look like someone I can have good looking kids with, someone I can have fun with, and someone I'll find attractive with. I get put down, and a lot of guys now are getting put down uh, on the internet for liking girls that are sexy, attractive with big tits, and show off their sexiness. Exactly, and you shouldn't be. I shouldn't be. That's your taste. Who gives a shit? Some guys like big boobs. Some guys like small boobs. Some girls, some girls like guys that are fat. Some girls like guys that are muscular. Some girls like pretty boys, like I do. Right. Everyone has their own taste, and they, they should, should be allowed to have that. They should, as long as you're not bashing everyone else that looks different. And telling them how to think. Yeah, like, um, or or. Or making people feel bad because they don't look like two the way you want them to look. That's another bullshit. You know. Yeah. That... <laughs> like, I don't go up to every guy that's overweight. I don't go up to him and hand him a bra and say, you should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself and walk away. Because that's terrible. What a, what a terrible thing to do. But Terrible. But people do that. I had guys do that shit to me all the time, especially in high school. What? They... But, like, like, your legs are too fat. Your legs shouldn't be this muscular. I'm like... Yeah. Like... Should, yeah, that crap. I'm like, so don't look at my legs. <laughs> right. Well, just like when it comes to you see a video game out there that doesn't maybe appeal to you, that um, 
Or you be don't... like, you should wear makeup. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, you, shouldn't, <laughs> you shouldn't go, hey, uh, you, that, that game shouldn't exist. I don't exist. know, like, girls that wear makeup. They get a girl that likes makeup. Don't. You know Why? <laughs> you know what we need more of? We need more George Carlins in this world. We do. We miss. I miss that guy to no, no end. I, I mean, he too. was a great comedian, and he. But you know up... what? I feel like we there are people like that, but they're getting silence. They are. It's, I mean, it's hell, the thing. Chris Rock recent not too long ago. I think I might have mentioned this before in the podcast. He got um, he's no longer going to colleges to do his his act because they're all they're all too offended by it, and the computer is shutting down. Wonderful. Can you guys hear us still? I think you can. Yeah, you can. Okay. <laughs> cool, cool. All right, so let's change the subject to My Little Pony. My Little Pony? My Little Pony, man. Really? Because the new, the new season is coming out. There's a new season coming out? Yeah. I saw, I saw the trailer of it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So, you, well, you're a girl. Oh, so you, my God. So you're a girl, so you're not exactly a brony. What, what's the girl version of brony? Um, uh, not, Pegasus Sisters? It most like to be called Pegasus. But you can still call us bronies. I, I, yeah. I like being called a brony and then Peggy's sisters because that sounds like I don't know. It sounds kind of dirty. I wouldn't <laughs> call myself a brony. But you're a fan. I I appreciate it and I sure as hell love some of the memes and everything like that too. And I've I've used some of the memes on making fun I, of stuff like femi- I just, Feminist Frequency. I, I use I, the thing for I can't, <laughs> I can't the wait stickers. Because yay. And also uh, um, well, Doctor Who. Doctor Who, you like? Doctor yeah, you're a, Ho- you're a Whovian. Like, well, I'm a Whovian. I'm definitely Hoo-hoo. a Whovian. Um, <laughs> I'm an owl. I go hoo hoo. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I I, I do like the the new My Little Pony is. Um, oh, and uh, and Ninja Turtles. And the new nin- the new Ninja Turtles is good. Yeah, the CG one with Teen April. You know, I guess and no one. Well, everyone hates April. No one likes the Teen April. I mean, yeah, yeah, you do want to see an older April, but no, it's not that she's she's young. People don't like her because she's kind of a bitch. She kind of is. In in the show, she's kind of a bitch. She kind of is. But that's normal for a teenager. <laughs> isn't isn't her voice actress the same as uh, Cora? No, not Cora. It's uh oh shit, I forgot her name. Someone from uh no, it's uh um um oh yeah, now I know who it is. I uh, oh god, I forgot her name. I'm gonna get like my ass kicked. I yeah. can't really forgot the character's name. She's from the original. The original uh, uh, Air, Avatar, Last Airbender, um, Katara. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's right. She's always a Katara. Yeah, she is. Yeah. She, and, she, and she played a blind woman. <laughs> she played a blind Oh, in live action. And she, yeah. <laughs> she doesn't want She doesn't want, want anyone to see. She doesn't want you to find. It was bad. You know, well, it ha- you know, listen, as an actor, sometimes you, you're given what you're given, you know. Yeah. You know, it's... it's. You, I just thought that was funny that the voice of Leo at the time found it and told everyone. And the like, voice of Leo at the time? Yeah. yeah. Oh, because they switch around Leo's voice actor like, can, like a sh- Can like a I hat. just say this? Leo sounds like he has a cold. Yes. Thank you. Thank, uh, you. Thank you, Mr. Green, for turning Leo right. to sound like he's sick. Thanks. I, and, Thanks. And this is why we're also talking about Thanks. Avatar. Um, And I, I was kind of Thanks. off the side of the mic there. Thanks. Um, Well... Actually, the, the the voice director behind the new Ninja Turtles is uh, I be Andrea Andrea Romano, who's who was behind uh, Last Airbender and Korra. She's an amazing voice director, but I and and I like Seth Green for a lot of the stuff that he's done. I've liked them, I've watched him ever since All Buffy right. and everything. I'm but not, why does everyone think because I don't like a voice for a certain character? I'm blaming the freaking actor. I'm blaming the director that hired this actor because his voice does not match the character. Well, that, that director And it's is... in the middle of a freaking series. Yeah. You don't do that. If you're going to change the voice actor, make it sound at least sim- somewhat more similar to the original voice. Because yeah. that's, that, that's just, it, it, to me, it just sounds like he has a cold. The current and I can't voice like of this Leonardo. character now because of this. <laughs> the current voice of Leonardo, Leonardo is, um, is Seth Green. And freaking he sounds he does sound like Leonardo with cold. He he's it got doesn't that, match his voice from the beginning. His voice. If you watch it through the first <laughs> episode up to now, it's like the Leo die. No. <laughs> <laughs> Is he sick? Does he have cancer? Like what's going on with? Does he have like? throat cancer what oh, is happening with his bad. voice don't, don't but i'm saying for his, Seth okay. Green is great he's uh, a great let guy let me put but... it this way your voice right now yeah if all of a sudden 
out of nowhere, your voice changed into something different. Like, not even close to your voice. What do your voice sounded like, um... I'm trying to think. Your voice sounded like Mulan. <laughs> Did my voice sound like Mulan all of from, a sudden? From, from Disney. All of a sudden, your voice changed to Mulan's voice. Yeah, that'd be uh, weird. What kind of reaction do you think everyone's going to have? Uh, yeah, it'd be weird. Yeah. Well, one Would it I... be like, what? Are you a girl now? What happened to you? Ooh, and, I, and that was a motorcycle that just drove by. Um, you know, and what what I don't like about the American voice acting standards, uh, we see this often. I think I might have mentioned this in a prior um, in a prior podcast, and I I might get chastised from this from my fellow voice acting friends and so forth. Hopefully, it doesn't stop me from getting other voice acting positions. But which sure which is also stupid. If I well, you want me to say it? You want me to say it? I'll no, I'll say you want it. Me say it. This is a lack dude, of character dude, integrity. Dude, you said it. I said it. <laughs> no, because in Japan, in Japan, for example, when the person becomes that character, they become that character. I'm not saying that the person who plays the voice the character right now doesn't become the character you have to in order to be a good voice actor but the problem is they the, the studios and everything that do Charlie. the dubbing they never keep them they Charlie. always switch around the voice actors Charlie. and it's all because of that union non-union thing Charles. it's like what the oh okay, what i gotta pee <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's okay if know, i get up and pee yes okay you what wait i'll you, be quick you, you're seriously doing this right I, now i i can't control my bladder <laughs> God. you're right near the bathroom <laughs> Enjoy uh, it. <laughs> oh dear God! Wait, you're, you're, you're seriously? I really do have to go, so we can talk. <laughs> I should put some elevator music on right now. Oh my goodness! Well, we're getting up to the um. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm gonna have to kind of cut this out, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh boy. I can't really talk with you not here, Danielle. I'm terrible with it just being me. And, um, hey, everyone, this part is probably going to be cut out, most likely. Most likely be cut out at this point. <laughs> Especially that part. Oh, boy. Welcome back to the world, land of the living. <sighs> Thanks. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to have to cut this whole part. Why? It's funny. No. <laughs> Oh, you're such a baby. I'm you're probably not... gonna have to cut this no, that whole not. part out. Why? That was hilarious. Oh, all right. You want right. to make this interesting, all right. Mr. Charles? All right. Okay. <laughs> you're such a prude. See, I'm the one you, who's you, prude. You're the one. You, don't don't be Google. Don't be, be a Google. No, I won't be a Google. Don't be a Google. No. Well, I'm just, what I was saying before is sometimes it seems like there's a lack of character integrity. It not not in all studios and not in all cases, but. Um, it is because it's a money thing. It is a lot of times. It's a money thing. It's oh, we want to promote this person to be that area. Oh, this person knew that 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 producer or whatever and got the job and all this. It's 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 a money thing. It's you know, let's so like done. Yeah, all it's right. It's a money thing. All right. I, I it's just a money thing. Yeah, because uh, unfortunately, another aspect of the business that gets a little silly is that me talking about this like that becomes a damning on my part for my my career as a voice actor, which shouldn't be. Like. I said begin. It's a money thing. Yeah. Yeah. No. It, nepotism money and money and all that seems to run in anything. Anything with, with money. But I, I, I'm i not saying Seth Green got a job money. as Leonardo for nepotism. You know, he's happy that he has the role because he's a big Ninja Turtle fan. Yeah, exactly. Obviously, because we all are because we, of, we I, grew up with it. Any of us who grew up in the 80s and 90s. Um, However, again, his voice doesn't match. It's not even close to the original voice actor. It does seem a bit off. So it's very off. I mean, if he did the voice in the beginning, it wouldn't be a bad thing because it's from the beginning all the way up to now. The the the, it, the character it type of sounds like he has a cold. That's it, my point. It doesn't. It just it's 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 just off. Well, the Ninja it's Turtles very very off. The, the Ninja Turtles always had archetype characters. Um, for each one of the turtles, Leonardo was supposed to, is the leader, and he was supposed to have that young, almost anime-like male lead voice. 
Michelangelo is supposed to have the surfer dude kind of chilled out voice. Raphael is supposed to be a little bit more gruff, a little hard toned, uh, basically uh, always angry kind of mentality to him. Donatello is supposed to be the nerdy, more um, more uh, you know more nerdier type of, but not too nerdy. Still enough where he's um you know a brother to the turtles. Like, you know he's not like he's still kind of like a I guess attractive nerdy for for Donatello. Well, now actor. he's attractive nerdy. Now he is. <laughs> now because oh my god. I love him too. <laughs> He's not too. Donatello was never too nerdy. He was always nerdy enough, but not. Yeah, he was. He, he wasn't like gone he's, down he's, the he's, spectrum he's too a far. Hot nerd. A hot nerd. <laughs> well, his he's voice. He's not a nerd that has um, a disorder. He's he's just hot. He's a hot nerd. Well, speaking of turtles and video games, do you have a favorite Ninja Turtles video game? I know a lot of people say in... Turtles in Time and stuff like that, I... but. The one I played in the arcade. I don't know the name of it. it the was, one I played in the arcade was my favorite. That was Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game. That yeah. was the second Ninja Turtles game. Yeah, because Donnie was, fun. was my man. Donnie was your favorite? Yeah. Have you ever played the one I have? No, I don't think you've played. The original Nintendo one? The NES? The, the infamous NES no, one? No, I haven't played that one. The one with the, with the you know, the, um, shutting off the bombs and everything in, in the seaweed and everything underwater and whatnot? Yeah, that nostalgia card I made fun of? Yeah. <laughs> that what yeah. are you doing over there i'm disabling the bomb looks like you're doing <laughs> yeah. that, that game basically you, the way you played that game was either you played as leonardo or donatello if you want to get anything done but if you wanted to sacrifice anyone you use michelangelo and Raphael because they had such a short reach with their weapons and it was a tough as nails game and speaking of tough as nails game i i think that's one of the other reasons why we wanted to talk today is to talk uh, talk about speaking of sexy an, uh, anime and video game girls jesus jesus <laughs> it's oh it's easter. right it, today's today's uh holy saturday whatever it is it's the day before easter yay and probably when this comes out it'll be either easter or the day after easter <laughs> we're talking about um <laughs> some sexy stuff yeah well, <laughs> well i want to talk about um athena the yeah. game, the the game Athena, uh, yeah. a classic game, yeah. um, from SNK. Yeah. Um, uh, who, who I believe their company's name is not an SNK anymore. It's Playmore. Um, mm-hmm. they uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they um, back in '86, back when you were born. I know. They came out with this I game. I was a baby. <laughs> they came out with this game, and I was only playing video games for I a year a at that cute time. Little baby. Oh, it was when the. the when the NES, for one of the first games on the Nintendo, uh, at least for in Japan, mm-hmm. I don't think it was here in the States for, well, it eventually got into the States, I think. It was called um, uh, Athena. And it was, the, the, the premise was a princess, this this anime princess with purple hair and red dress, who wanted to get out of her castle. And she goes into this forbidden door and she's now into this um, secret world. And as she's falling, her dress falls off and she's in a, in a red bikini. And Throughout the game, you as you're fighting and trying to find stuff in the blocks, you get your armor, you get more armor, you get more powers, more weapons, and so forth. It was kind of like a little bit like Ghouls and Goblins, uh, Ghosts and Goblins, or whatever you know that that game. It's um, a fun game. It's fun, a very hard game, um, as it's, a lot of the games were pretty, back then. It's pretty. It's like a dress-up game, just got h- hardcore. A hardcore dress-up game. If that's what it is. <laughs> it's a hardcore dress-up game. And the character is, uh, you know. That old school '80s anime look to her and stuff, and it's yeah, great. I like that the little chunky look. It's really cute. the little yeah, that that cute chunky anime look, and yeah. it's it's adorable. It is adorable. It is. They and don't they don't make them like that anymore. She, I thought she was the the same Athena, and she might have been based off pretty much the Athena that's in uh, SNK versus Capcom and so forth. Those those fighting games, uh, you know, King of Fighter games, uh, the Athena from the there. one that has the little cockatiel. Well, that one that we saw that I showed you it was one of the games. Which is the, the best thing I ever saw in my life. When I, she, when I the Athena it. from this game, Athena appeared. Her fighting moves, had one of her fighting moves is a cockatiel. Danielle had a cock, you know, a cockatiel called uh, Pikachu, who was that? That was her birdie, and it was so funny is that we just saw this character and one of her fighting was this big cockatiel comes in and fights for you real quick as part of the the battle. And that was actually part of the game I made. Peaky Pop was based off of Pikachu, our, our, the birdie that we had. And the, it was so cute, right? You love that. It was, and, yeah, and, and what's, what's interesting about Athena, too, in this is that she's not that much different than what we uh, figure for Tenshioni, for, for Fumi and our, our mascots for our site. Not much for 
Actually, she looked more like Angel, right? She was more like Angel. You yeah, think? I see more Angel. You know? But even though Angel, you want to be more, bo- I guess, more of the uh, sexy kind of big boob, like kind of like Panty from Panty and Stocking is more like what you see Angel to be. I... With curly hair though, big curly hair. Well, Angel's not a bitch or anything. She's just, she's what I see as More sexy. Hair. She's yeah. mature and flirty, but she's confident. Yeah. She she doesn't she doesn't she shows off the world her body and she sees it as something being proud and powerful. Yeah. And but, Demon Fumi is the one that's more insecure, but she's yeah. also wearing. I I I drew her with leotard, but oh uh, well, you know. Well, I, I I thought it was a good idea because it shows that you know she feels exposed all the time. Right. So it's kind of like her insecurity. It, it's her insecurity, like yeah. this mirror and the anger she has on herself. And Fumi is the in between, kind of like the glue that holds them all together. And she is who in the game at least. Fumi is the hero. She's the hero she's type. The hero. She's like Leonardo. She, she's like she's, a, a. She's the healer. Uh, the healer. She's the um, she's like the mother figure. Mother them. figure, almost like a mother right. figure, because she, because you know she's there for them. She's like the big sister, even though I want Angel to be the oldest, but they're like, yeah. no, she's like the big sister to them. I still name them though as the various types of Fumi, because I have them transform, have Fumi transform into them. So, but you, for a while now, you wanted it where they're actually separate people. They are. They are se- truly separate yeah. in a way. Um, but in the game, at least, uh, whenever I ever one day ever get the maybe the unity version of it that i'm working well, on i don't want to say everything because we'll be someone probably would take the idea and there it goes <laughs> well i already copyrighted tensioni i know but the whole idea <laughs> i know well i mean it's yeah, it's, it's not exactly it, yeah it, the, the idea that we have for that is not exactly truly unique but then again what else what is truly 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 outrageous truly unique well you know <laughs> I, I think it's funny because with um with angel her the big problem she has is that she has, because of the way she looks and the you know, her mm-hmm. background, like she has to be this goody goody girl. Like she shouldn't show off her body and everything. Like she should be ashamed of herself, but she's oh, not. Right. She's not. Yeah. So. And so she always has this conflict of like, I want to wear these sexy clothes, but I'll look, I'll, I'll look, I'll get harassed or you know this, I'll look like a bad person. Yeah. But I'm not a bad person. <laughs> Strong female characters. Yeah. That's what we have. Yeah. But we would still see, I'd be still seen as a shitlord Even for, for Tenshioni. Yeah. Because but they're I, sexy. But I made up the characters. Danielle, made, you made them up. I made them up. Back in 2002, 2003. I made them up for free. We made them sake. up. I made them up. You know? And you're a true gamer girl. You are. Because I don't give two shits. But, I play my game. I'm not trying to be better than anyone else. I'm just playing the game to have fun. But also, I would like to say, mm-hmm. don't go around saying, but I'm more of a gamer girl than you are. Blah, blah, I didn't blah. say that. <laughs> no, but I'm saying is because people do that now. They go, oh, I'm more of a game. It's like, you know what? Just let's just keep, let's play the video games and, and make video games and, and make the art and, and draw anime and do you know, all that. And, I play and not games, be worried about any more. I play games to have fun. Yeah. That's it. And most people just play, just play games to have fun. Yeah. It, it's not a competition. Right. Nothing should be a competition. It, it's it's not... Even if you... Even if the most... Truest game it, to the goals of Social suck, Justice Warriors was they ever come out. Even if you suck out. at playing video games, if you're having fun, who gives a shit? Right. <laughs> even if the truest Social Justice Warrior game was to ever come out, the never, one that would be the, the, the end all, which, first of all, won't ever happen because they changed the way... Every one of them has their own hey, Charlie, individual Charlie, specific Charlie, thing. Charlie, Charlie. What? I want to ask you something. What? If you could be a half animal, what would it be? Half animal? Yeah. Wait. Right, let me just finish the one no, thought I had. No, no. I want to change it's just that we, we talked about this so I many just, times. I know. I just want to say. We're the shit out of these people. I just the, only, wa- the only amusement they had with us is me having to pee. <laughs> I just want to say that if that game was to ever come out, the one that is like the, the second coming that these, these people want, it will never change anything in, t- in terms of social justice or anything. People are just playing games for fun. We want it, it, It's just art. It's just fun. It's it's not – a great game is not going to change the world to a point. It might help people be more – it might inspire people to be more artists and so forth. That's where the big change will be, but not that. But anyways, all right. Yeah. What do you want with a, uh, a half animal? I, I don't know. I never – I don't get into that whole other kin crazy weird shit. <laughs> I just wanted to change the subject. 
I just, well, other kin, uh, I mean, not other kin, uh, just uh, another animal to identify myself with? I don't, I don't know. I never thought of that. I, I uh, I'm a birdie. A birdie? I'm a birdie. You're a little birdie? Because cause I like, um, I like, I like shiny things. Yeah. And I like music. Birds like music. And birds like shiny things. What, what, what animal do you think I would identify closest to? Um, a dog. A dog? A loyal, a loyal dog, like a lone wolf or something like that? Or? Mm, I wouldn't say a lone wolf, but you're loyal. Okay. And you're friendly. Okay. Well, really? Yeah. Some people would think otherwise. Well, you'll bite if, you know, it's something personal. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> All right. I guess that would make, but I'm not a dog kin. I don't, I don't, I, I don't uh, prescribe yeah. to that yeah. craziness. <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't say that. I mean, it, listen, it, 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 um, uh, Charlie's no, right, in I'll trouble. Yeah, he no, put I, himself in a. I put myself in a hole by saying that. No, I'm saying no because because uh, no, we're people who like Charlie. fantasy stuff and all that. But we don't take it so seriously. Charlie. We're we're, we're defined. So I wasn't much talking about that. I was just talking about something fun. <laughs> and he's running to pee again. You should get that checked. Yeah, I should. Actually, looking at our time right now. Excuse me, as you guys can't even hear me. Okay, excuse the speaking of our we time. Done? We're almost at an hour and a half right now speaking. So. Oh, so we should like stop. At least the raw time. Because... I, I might be cutting a few things out, at least with you in using the bathroom. No, that was a... funny. You're running to the bathroom. I in the thought that of the was t- funny. God, all right, you have all right. no sense of humor. All right, we'll keep You're it. You're a broken chef. Get out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> Get your ass out of my face. <laughs> Get your white butt out of my face. <laughs> White cis male, right? Yeah, get it out of my face. All right. Out of my face. <laughs> Come what? back to you gain another 50 pounds, you, you skinny shit. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, well, if I gained 50 pounds, I'd still be under uh, 100, uh, under 100, under 200. Yeah, if I was, no, if I was that thin, I'd be dead. Um, No, I'm, I'm like 140, 135. Something I don't like know that. what I am. I don't want to know. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Oh, Charlie, um... What's, What's your favorite um, cartoon theme song? Favorite cartoon theme song? If anyone has a favorite cartoon theme song, put it in the comments below as yeah. I advertise that. T- t- tell us in the comments below. You're supposed to tell them first, asshole, and then you say that. <laughs> <laughs> this podcast brought to you by... Shut the fuck up, Charlie. Answer the question. Always stay fresh. Always. <laughs> this is this is brought to you by Jesus created a, <laughs> created a man cave until two bitches came along and opened the door. <laughs> and he's like, fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> and they came in and said, what is this, Roma Pollock painting? Ah, oh, I never mind. <laughs> oh, you answered the question. Uh, all right, yeah. And, went I, and I, I went around and I got awkward. And it, it, you... you you're, you're like a freaking dog. You are a dog. I got the aughts. You, the aughts <laughs> dog. You have, you have ADD. You're all over the place. All right. Now, uh, favorite cartoon theme song? Yeah. Hmm. I do like DuckTales. DuckTales. Sing it. Woo! No, I'm not going to sing it. Sing it. <laughs> I'm not going to sing it. I'll sing it together. No, no. I'm not going to sing DuckTales. Why not? I'm not going to sing DuckTales. Let's um, sing DuckTales. Um, uh, what's another theme song? Oh, Ninja Turtles. The, ne- the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles song. Teenage Mutant, Mutant Ninja, Ninja Turtles. Turtles. Oh, you sing yeah, that? I'll sing that a little See, bit. you're biased against ducks. <laughs> <laughs> you're against ducks, Charles. No, not against... Because they're white. Not against ducks. And if I said I was, I, the, a certain friend of mine would be really upset. He's a big fan of ducks. He's a nice guy. Because they got weird penises. Oh, ew. <laughs> not because of that. That's well, true. They got those weird looking like... He- Squir- uh, corkscrew kind of yeah. uh, ew, ew, don't even no ew. what it's nature it's yeah. true Ech. that's nasty are we gonna put like pants on ducks now because <laughs> 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 that does not happen <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh god uh other great uh cartoon theme songs um the dragon ball z but like the the rock one that was on back when it was still like the t- da, na, 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 that one. No, oh, the dragon, dragon, yeah, dragon balls. Yeah, yeah, and the and the sen- in the second verse it goes. Da, na, na, oh yeah, yeah. Na, na. <laughs> that was that was cool. That was a cool opening. I have to give, uh, it, despite the flaws of some of the earlier dubs of DBZ, uh, it, it was very good. <laughs> Do you like the Japanese one? Japanese one sounds like something out of the seventies. But I like that. One. I do like it too. It it's definitely got like that. Well. 
that's how the the music was back in the late eighties, mid eighties in uh, Japan. It was like dun 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 dun. It had that like seventies, um, I like the Yu Yu Hakusho feel. opening, the English one. Yeah, that one was good. Even though it was English, it, it worked. It was, yeah, it had this little charm about it. Mm. Um, I also like the Sailor Moon one. Oh yeah, the Sailor Moon's opening. Yeah. Do you like the new one, the Crystal? Yeah, I like the Crystal one. Yeah, the Moon Pride. Lo- love that. Love it. Moon Pride. That's what. That's oh what yeah, the song that's the name of the song. Called. Yeah, Moon Pride. Damn, what kind of nerd are you? I don't. Know. <laughs> and I like uh, Darkwing Duck. Oh, how can you not like Darkwing Duck? <laughs> it might be. Uh, I feel like sometimes it's a little bit overrated. Darkwing Duck. A little overrated. A little. Get out of my face! I'll just get out of my face. Just a little. Get out of my face. I like Darkwing how Duck. How dare though. you? Overrated? It's underrated. Fuck you. <laughs> it's not underrated. No, it actually it needs it needs to come back. Maybe it if does. It can. That needs to come back, and also um, gargoyles. Gargoyles? Oh yes, yes. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you like the opening to that too. <laughs> we are the fenders of the night. We are <laughs> gargoyles. Arr, U.S. Navy. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Yeah, he's the voice actor for the Navy. Um, well, he was actually, if I'm not mistaken, he was in the military. Uh, I forgot the name of the guy who does his, the voice of Goliath, but yeah, he was. Um, uh, he. Uh, what's the name on? You, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I wanted to end with us singing uh, no. a theme song. No, no. Yeah, why not? Um, it's Christmas. <laughs> it's Easter. You mean. Well, no, it's Christmas. It's. <laughs> eh. It should be Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> At least they right. have presents. So, how should we end this? With a song. Not with a song. Yeah. My Little Pony. <gasps> you want to do that theme song? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do the theme song, right? You start singing it. Maybe I'll join my in. My Little Pony, My Little oh, Pony. Oh, no. No. <laughs> I don't know the rest of the song. Uh, the original one. <laughs> I, no, I, I don't even know. Fighting evil by moonlight. <laughs> oh, Sailor Moon. Winning love, love by, by daylight. daylight. Never running from a real fight. She is the one named Sailor, Sailor Moon. <laughs> she will never turn her back on her friends. <laughs> she is always, always there to defend. defend. She, she is, is the one. one. Oh, jeez. <laughs> defend. She is the one named Sailor, Sailor Moon. Moon. <laughs> <laughs> Does she have aggressive navel, too? They did, didn't they? The Sailor Scouts. Then they have. You can see their stomachs. No. No, you can't see their stomachs. No. No, you can't. No. Damn it. You can see uh, Sailor V's uh, original outfit. You. You can see her stomach, a midriff, you, a little you bit. You just see a little bit of it. They got the short skirts though. Giggity. Yeah, it's short. <laughs> but freaking, this is so is Wonder Woman. Like, yeah. She's not. Well, she she's skirt. not even she covering a, anything. No, she's got a leotard she's, on. She, you see yeah, well, her whole a chest, and, and she's wearing bottom. this fucking like bean suit yeah, piece yeah. with no straps it's or not, anything. It's, it's not a leotard exactly. It's yeah. No, so, but no one bitches about her outfit. <laughs> oh no, they do. They do. You and know. then they give her pants. What the fuck was that? Yeah. That was ugly. Give her car. Yeah, Don't every, ever do that again. Give every Don't sexy girl cargo again. pants now. That they're not tight. Make it but baggy. You know that Wonder right? Woman wasn't Ugh. made for male. She was made from like clay. Yeah. Well, she was she's created an Am- by clay. She's an Amazonian. Yeah, she was clay. She yeah. was created by clay. Oh yeah. Her mother created thing. her by clay. <laughs> she's from a society that's run by women. Not that mu- not that much different than Athena. The um. Yeah. Well, no, it's that now she thing. came out of. If you go by the Greek mythology, Athena came out of the back of the head of Zeus and was like the warrior prince, the warrior uh, goddess, warrior princess. Warrior princess. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's another show that should come back. Warrior princess. Yeah. What is? Wait, there was a warrior princess. It was Zena. Oh, Zena, warrior princess. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. Dirt. Where the fuck have you been? Are you telling me you never watched that show? I erased the '90s. I, I, when I got rid of my nostalgia goggles, I deleted the '90s. That was like. No. I, she became a lesbian. Oh yeah, that's right. That was like the biggest thing ever on TV because that that wasn't that was yeah that was never heard of never giggity like that. Anyways, yeah. um, all right, so I guess we should head off, right? What do you think? Where are we heading off to? People probably have like, all right, I'm not listening anymore. I'm clicking they, away. Yeah, they they already peed. They already peed, <laughs> like you did before. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, you had the sink running. It wasn't exactly. We didn't hear it. It sounded like, though, you were still peeing. <laughs> but it was a sink that was running. I like that and you flushed the toilet. Am I, not, am I not allowed to flush the toilet? Yeah, you can flush the toilet. Oh, jeez. All right, so am let's. Because I'm a female? Are you going to Google me? You're going to Google. Yeah, that... Google's going to. I'm gonna... not allowed to, to take a piss. Yeah. Google is gonna gonna flag us for um for for flushing the toilet in the podcast. Yeah. Flush so the so the ad sense that you see is not. Oh, gonna, but I'm gonna... also a female, so that you're gonna even get more in trouble. Oh, gonna, it's gonna be an infinite loop. They're gonna flip out and not know understand the 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 problem. So it's gonna it's gonna blow up their servers and everything. Yeah. And so, ladies and gentlemen, don't be a Google. Love don't you. don't be, <laughs> don't be the new Google. Don't be Google. All right. Don't All be right. Salad. So, so, game on if you're a gamer and have fun. Just have fun. Be the and best. Loser you can be. <laughs> yeah. All right. Love you. <laughs> Love you guys. See you Bye. later. Can I have a brownie?